the battle of the sexes as Kim Cattrall and Paul Gross go head to head in No Coward's classic comedy, Private Lives. We're here at opening night to talk to the cast and find out more. Opening night on Broadway, congratulations. How are you feeling tonight? Well, you know, it's opening night in, on Broadway, so it's always, you're kind of out of your head because it's so hysterical. So it's, it's hard for me to be calm about it. You know, I had no idea what to expect, but it turns out it's a, it's a lot of fun. We had a good time with the show, and the audience was great. And this is a very nice restaurant, and it's nice to talk to you. So I like Broadway. So No Coward wrote in such a witty, fast-paced style. Is it fun to have to do this dialogue every night? Oh, it is. I mean, I, I have a lot of practice at this because Sex in the City had that kind of speed to it, you know, and largesse to it and fun. I feel like I'm in very familiar territory, but a completely different character. There's, a, there's almost an innocence and a vulnerability uh, to Amanda, my Amanda, which I really enjoy playing every night. It's hugely fun to do. Um, you've got to be on your toes. It goes like the clappers. Richard Eyre has not left any pauses that weren't absolutely necessary. You know, we're jumping in on the end of each other's lines and motoring it forward. And it's very thrilling to perform like that. You can really say he's got a great rhythm with the audience in terms of at what point you let them laugh because there's so many fun bits in there that you could sort of want to allow people room to laugh after every line, but you have to plow on and that's a challenge, not to, have to maintain the integrity of what you're doing and not just run with all the fun you could have. So you and Kim Cattrall really have to go head to head as these sparring lovers. Do you ever get afraid of her? I get afraid of Kim's right hook. She's got a very, it's a very heavy punch, but I'm a lot faster than she is, I think. So, you know, if we really went at it, I think I could take her. The chemistry between Kim and Paul is just incredible. And and I've worked with Simon before in London, Simon plays me day, and he, I think he's brilliant as Victor. We have a lot of fun. And, and Caroline is wonderful as our French maid, so that, it's really fun. What about Private Lives makes the show so timeless? Uh, sex and marriage. Uh, that's what's so timeless about it. It's about the way that people are powerfully attracted to each other sexually and how every sexual attraction has its opposite. Well, I suppose ultimately the message is, you know, you can't live with them, you can't live without them. Uh, if the passion is great enough, you'll put up with the bickering. So even with all the bickering that happens on stage, do you think this is a good date night at the theater? Oh, yes, absolutely. I think couples will, in some ways, recognize themselves. <laughs> I think it's wonderful, yeah, because you'll go outside and you'll be heading for the car or the train and you'll start to argue, you get into a huge fight, you go home, you'll have fantastic sex. I don't know, like, that's, that's a pretty good date show.